congrats on Midnight Texas. How's the fan response been so far since the panel? Man, the fans are awesome. I mean, I said earlier today, you know, there's a difference between viewers and fans, and it's the heart and the interest and the support. It's been pretty great. And tell us about your character. It looks like you have something rather angelic going on. Uh, yeah, slightly <laughs> angelic, uh, which is fun. It's, it's a superpower I always wanted to have as a kid, and I finally got to flex my wings. Um, Joe Strong, he's been around for a few millennia, and yeah, with that comes a little bit of wisdom, but also comes a struggle, I think, to fight against your cynicism, and he's doing a pretty good job of it. What's it like joining the supernatural world? I mean, everybody with different powers. I mean, that's got to be a lot of fun, right? Well, on a practical level, the inner 10-year-old in me is having a damn good time. <laughs> like watching people go out and we're fighting demons and, you know, swinging around swords and spears and such. Um, but on a more intellectual level, so I can sound smart for a second, I have always loved the genre stuff that because you can really explore humanity in a very interesting way. Uh, I mean, some of the best humans in all stories are the monsters, the misfits, the people who didn't fit in. And that's, that's certainly a message in our show, you know, that everybody has a place where they belong. And it may not be right in front of you, and you might have to go find it, but there is this place that you belong. And what better source material than Charlene Harris to get into this topic, right? Charlene, <laughs> bless you, baby, for your imagination. She is, and she is so cool. Like, when you get in a room with her and you get to talk to her, what a beautiful human being. I mean, her imagination coupled with her, just her, <laughs> it's pretty great.